What are you doing? That's why, man. Where are we going? We're going, oh, um, going to see if Paul can lay a bit of meat. He's been thinking about laying a bit of meat <laughs> all night. He has too. Can Got you fix that bino bit. strap? No you haven't, where's your harness? No, I haven't put it on. I don't like it on sometimes. Well, you're going to fix a, the strap? Maybe I will. It's a bit tight. What's wrong with it? It's all over the place. All it's back place. to front. you got it back to front now. Jeez. Oh, you have to take your hat off. What's no, going on? Put my hat down and he takes it. I've got to look after my stuff because he won't look after you. There is. Where's Will your be? harness? Uh, packed away. You don't use your stuff. No, it's packed away in the trailer. You don't know where it is. I know exactly that's, that's where it is. That's a real answer. You don't know where it is. <laughs> well, no, we're, uh, we're going to get some meat for the freezer. All right, eh? Well, good luck. You want to come yes, along? Sir. I'm coming. All right. Now you're invited yourself. Oh, right, thank you. wonder why I'm sweating like a bastard. Basically I just got a radio call from the boys saying that as I'm heading back they've just spotted, I think they said, about 20, 20 fellow, including one buck I think. I'm about 300 metres off them now. So we'll see if we can get a bit of video of this. I think you pull them up good. Yeah. I'll sweat it like a bastard. Yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunate, Steve. <laughs> and now they're, they're making up for <laughs> Oh, well, we, uh, we missed you. Well, put it this way, it's almost dark, so if I'm going to do something, we're going to do it now. We just walked in. I reckon go down the track. He's like a cricket over in there, Paul. When you get close to him, it goes quiet. When you step on the ground, the noise stops. He's trying to be quiet. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Oh. Uh, I'm just um, packing up my shit, Steve. Yeah? Yeah, just uh, get myself sorted out. We're going to see if we can nail a couple of unsuspecting. See if those fellow are still... Yeah, well, we found 16, 17 fellows. Oh, it's gone from 20 to 16. Uh, well, that's right. A few ran off. <laughs> <laughs> Never to be seen Never again. Seen again. <laughs> and uh, so we're going, to, we're going to see them, just to say hello. 
Yeah. Just to give him a friendly 308 tap on the shoulder. Yeah. And um, a little bit of a love tap. A little bit of a tickle up. Just had a crack at this fellow buck. I don't know where the hell he was. Probably a bit further than I thought he was actually. So hopefully he's down. I hate wounding, but he's just a, bit, a little bit low in the chest, I think. I've hit him. Uh, I'm gonna try and get over there quick and dispatch him. Mate, I'm sorry, that fellow buck was out in the middle of the paddock right below us. Just hold on, I haven't found him yet. He was a bit further, he was running when I had a crack at him. Yeah, he, he's hit, he's hit hard, but i just got to make sure he's down. I'm just moving quick over to try and get, just make sure he's not in a bad way. Now that all happened in a hurry. We're just sitting down there. And basically, uh, couldn't see anything. Then we stood up, I said, oh, I'm gonna walk over down to the creek. I look up and I'm thinking, that wasn't there before. Sure enough, he was onto us, but he was just moving a reasonable pace. I thought he was about 200, but I'd say he might've been more 250, 300, so the shot might be a little bit low. Normally I'd take a bit of time and range it, but it was sort of make a quick decision. And I'm pretty confident he's, he's not gonna go too far. Anyway, I'm hoping. Oh, let's see how we go. Yeah, boys, deer down, deer down. Oh. Thank God he's down. Good idea, fella. <laughs> oh well, it's a bit of meat for the table. Hey, little buck. But he's actually, well, I'll say little. He's little in. He's not, a, he's not that uh, small in body. Uh, still should be pretty good eat. Worst scenario is we've got plenty for sausages. Either way, it's better to have some meat than no meat, so... He's definitely going home with us.
but no one to blame but myself. Just got honked, thought I'd just climb up out of the gully, started going a bit faster, make a little bit more noise. Sure enough, honk, two deer just ran off over the rise. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure they were just a, uh, I'd say it was a hind and a young one. But uh, uh, every time you let your guard down, you make a mistake. Botching the bum. Anyway, it's part of the experience. And when I was coming back, the fellow were exactly where they were yesterday. But this time they must have winded me, or heard me, or whatever, and they've disappeared. Now I've just found them. They're 550 yards out, out in the opening there. It's probably pushing the 308, especially I've got a fair side wind here. But uh, I'm going to see what the boys want to do, see if we can get a bit closer. So what's going down, Paul? Well, we're on an adventure. I think we're chasing these fellows. <laughs> they walked out in front of me, back where they were yesterday. And then they've decided something's not right. Disappeared around the front of the front of the property. Oh my well, we're right back where I shot the the buck this morning. Now we've just seen them disappear over this open paddock here. And we haven't seen them come out of the gully, which is about another 500, 800 yards away. So we're gonna go and see if we can get get another one for the table before it gets dark. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> I'm going to be stuffed. <laughs> Mate, there's a slip sliding down that hill. Oh, shit. Anyway. So that's where we are going. Over there. Well, Paul, we found a lot of deer. And we've lost a lot of deer. Lost a lot of deer. And I'm just about knackered. But, uh, that beer and oh, into the tiger. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Uh, but I just don't know. We had, what, 11 deer go over that hill? Yeah. And we into this gully where we are now then we lost <coughs> we lost six and we lost another we only seen three go we don't know where the other seven are <coughs> there really is other. they couldn't have unless they went out over there while we were well, walking over they didn't go over the top mate, I have not seen go anywhere, anywhere else and they were being beautiful little eaten sized deer we lost 20 yesterday oh, no. mate open paddocks we're pretty good they just do Houdinis on us. Well, Paul, we've had to work for these bastards. Really hard. Hey? Really hard. Who are these two? They thought they'd come out at the last minute in the dark. Just going on dark. And that's what happens.